Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School and I wanted to uh, talk to you about something that you may not know about but I want you to understand what this is. Um, a lot of people uh, I think are afraid of investing because they don't know, know some of the basic terminology. So uh, what I decided to do was to start talking about some of the concepts in investing that uh, that may help you understand how certain things work. Um, one topic uh, that I want to discuss today is what they call asset allocation. Now, what is asset allocation? Um, asset allocation is almost exactly what it sounds like. It is how you allocate your assets. What is your asset? Your asset is anything that's valuable to you. Um, in this particular context, we're talking about maybe your money, or your property or something that you can invest but really in a broader context you actually allocate assets on a daily basis because you have other things that are important to you like your time your your uh, your your happiness um, you know your uh, your love you know just things like this your health right we invest all these things in something right I'm investing my time in talking to you right now because I'm allocating that asset in such a way that I think that it's going to give a good return on investment for everybody involved right so asset allocation is basically what you're doing with your resources where you're putting them now in the context of investing uh, the major asset allocation categories might be stocks, bonds, and cash. Uh, you can also throw in maybe real estate. Um, you And then more specifically, you might have like international stocks, small stocks, large stocks, uh, you know, high risk, low risk stocks, uh, stock options, things like that. Uh, and basically... Uh, when I think about investing, I think in, of, of investing in terms of uh, of the broader asset allocation strategy or uh, asset classes, how I put my money between various classes, as opposed to looking at any particular stock or any particular bond or anything like that, uh, because it's the classes that make the difference, right? So, for example, a, a really simple investment strategy might be to just say, you know what, I want to have 20% of my money in real estate. Doesn't mean you have to actually own the real estate. Now, that's that's a, uh, also a popular misconception. You can actually buy into mutual funds that um, that invest in real estate for you. So you just send them a few hundred dollars. They put your money into real estate portfolios uh, that are spread out all over the country, all over the world sometimes. Um, and so you may say, I want 20% of my money in real estate, 10% uh, in, in small stocks, 30% uh, in large stocks, big reputable companies. I want 20% in international uh, you know, international funds, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the idea of asset allocation. Uh, uh, remember, when you invest, uh, in my opinion, you want to think about assets in terms of classes as opposed to individual stocks. Because I get that question a lot, of, all the time. People are like, well, Dr. Boyce, which, what's a good stock to pick? And when should I sell the stock? Stuff like that. And I say, well, you know what, what I do is I allocate my money broadly. I diversify, spread it out to different places. And I just buy it and I hold it. I just own it for a long time because uh, the the most surefire way to make money over the last hundred years has been to spread your money out in the stock market and, and also maybe in some international markets and just leave it there. Just leave it there. You know, and 20 years later, the money does grow. If you look over the last 20 years, any any 20 year period since the stock market came into existence, if I'm not mistaken, almost every 20 year period, if you had a diversified portfolio, which pretty much means you own about 20, 25 stocks, um, that portfolio has grown tremendously over that 20 year period. Um, and so remember, though, a, a quick way to do that is not to buy all the stocks yourself. You can do that if you want to, but it's actually to invest maybe in a mutual fund because the mutual fund manager, what he does. Is, is she does is they take all your money pile it in with other people's money and they buy th hundreds of stocks sometimes thousands you don't even know what they own you just know what classes they're investing in because remember it's about thinking about classes and groups of assets not any particular stock well, that's all I want to share with you I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins uh, check out the Black Business School if you're interested in this kind of stuff so until we meet again please stay strong be blessed and be educated I am gone peace